Hey guys, it's Leila Khan and today I'll be doing the cervical plexus. On your morning it goes leopards get all the spots painted. Leopards get all their spots painted. Now for the cervical plexus you need to be able to draw it out for your exam. Um, I'll write the letters down just so we know the names of the nerves and then I'll draw it out for you and you can draw it with me. So L stands for the lesser occipital nerve, they're all nerves, then great auricular nerve. Then you've got the ansa cervicalis, there are two roots, you've got the superior and the inferior. You've got the transfer cervical. You've got the supraclavicular. And the phrenic nerve. Need to remember these names for the cervical plexus. Now we'll draw it out. So we've got our C1, C2, C3, C4 and C5. They're connected in one way or the other. So first you go like this. Then C1 and C2 are connected in the sense that they're connected to the ansa cervicalis. Okay, so this one goes These um, roots that you see, they supply the muscles of the neck, uh, the anterior muscles of the neck, and this is the ansa cervicalis. So here, you've got the superior root of the ansa cervicalis. I'll be, I'll write A C, and here you've got the inferior root of the ansa cervicalis. Okay. Then there are two nerves that go from the C2, so you've got the lesser occipital and you've got the great auricular, but the C3 joins the great auricular nerve, so here you've got the lesser occipital the leopard, here you've got the great auricular, and yeah, then for the third one, it goes straight down, and both C4 and C5 join it, and it gives out another one which is the spots, which the C4 joins, and it gives a root, the C3 is the main one because it gives roots to ansa cervicalis as well, and it gives roots to this great auricular, to 4 and 5 jointed, and it gives one of its own, which goes straight, so the straight one would be out uh, there, which is the transfer cervical nerve. This one would be the supraclavicular. And this one would be the phrenic nerve. Right? Yep, so for phrenic nerve you can say it comes from C3, 4 and 5, 
for grade auricular C2 and C3, this is how you'll have to mention it in your exams. When you write the name of the nerve, you can write from which um, cervical um, the spinal cord, like from which section does it come from. So that is it for the cervical plexus. Uh, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. Thank you.